Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 23rd Excel 2007 tutorial and today I'm going to give you an introduction to uh, macros and we're going to do a, a you know a real simple example of how to record a macro. So a couple quick things I want to point out here are that uh, in order to utilize the macro functions within the um, within Excel you need the developer option on your menu if it's not showing on yours, which should is probably not the default, you want to go to the Microsoft Office button here, then click Excel Options, and then here in the under the popular category, you want to just check this box, Show Developer tab in the ribbon, click OK, and it will it will uh, automatically populate there. So with that said, I want to jump right in here and point out a couple other quick things here. So the first one is, I've already saved this. I'm going to go ahead and save it again to show you what needs to take place. When you're working with macros, you need to make sure you save this, save the um, workbook as a Excel macro enabled workbook. The default is Excel workbook you need to save it as an Excel macro enabled workbook and to do that um, or once you do that it will automatically change the extension to .xlsm okay? um, there's a couple of different type of macros there's um, VBA function macros which is utilizing Visual Basic for applications and the other one is called um, Visual base or VBA sub procedures or sub um, uh, macros. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a quick example here of something called uh, record macro option. So how we're going to do that. We're going to go to developer. We're going to go to macros, and I am going to go ahead and create a, a macro name. I'm going to call it uh, format name and a good reason why you would use a macro is something you have to do repetitively on multiple worksheets and this is a way of making it so you can just do it one time save it and then uh, activate it with a shortcut key is typically the way these are, are worked it could be formatting whether it's formatting accounting reports or formatting titles or you know creating charts whatever the case may be so I'm gonna do format name I'm gonna create it Whoop. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to go to record macro here actually. And I am going to call it format name. And there's a couple different options here. Well, I'm going to do control uh, plus a key. So I'm going to do control plus, I'm going to hold down the shift key and hit Z. And you see what happens. You have to control shift and, and Z together to execute this. There's a couple different options to save it. I'm just going to do it in this workbook for right now. We'll talk more about the personal macro workbook uh, at another point. So I'm going to say format title. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to replace the existing macro. And so what I'm going to do here is now I am recording my macro. You see the stop recording button is an option now. And, and this is also another stop button down here. So what I want to do here is I want to put in the name of uh, put in the name of a company, the maybe the street address and the city, and format the background. So something really simple. First thing I want to do is I want to click Use Relative References, and you'll notice what happened is it highlighted it here. You see it's shaded in the background. By default, it would use what we call absolute reference, meaning if I do something in cell A1, A2, and A3 here starting here for example and I went to another worksheet it would always paste it there it would always run that macro in those cells relative it'll be the same size and scope of the cell range but you can place it wherever you want to okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, let's see 10 minute train and I'll just make up an address here 10 one two three Main Street and let's say Orlando Florida Okay, and now I want to make the background a different color. So I can highlight all the cells. I can right click and say format cells. Another thing you can do is with the cell highlighted, 
cells highlighted, you can hit Control One, and it will bring up that same um, that same option uh, for formatting cells. So I'm going to make it light blue. I'm going to click OK, and now I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. Okay. So now I've recorded that. It should have been recorded using relative references. So that means I can go to another sheet. Let's make this column. Eh, let's make it like that. Now to run that macro, I do Control Shift Z, and you see what happened there. It put it right here. You could use this for any number of formatting options. Um, you know whether you wanted um, dollar symbols, whatever the case may be. Anything that you do recurring over and over that takes some time. This is a nice feature to uh, to utilize. So I'm going to come back with some more tutorials to get more advanced here. Uh, one other thing, I, one other quick uh, shortcut that I wanted to share with you is or, in order to get to the record menu, rather than going through developer, um, those options, you could hit Alt, Alt key, T, M for macro, and R. and it will bring up the macro record option. Okay, so that's just a shortcut that I wanted to share with you. So thanks for joining and please uh, subscribe if, you're, if you like um, the tutorials and please leave any comments uh, if you'd like to see anything else or feel free to email me. Thanks for joining.